So then I, I'm not put out because my pleasure is always here, like a mother who enjoys with her baby. She wants always to, to give it. Do you recognize yourself as part of the whole? Of course. Great, that's it. That's the purpose. Why do we need to be broken and go back up? Yes, to learn, to learn the physics of the lower level. And then to go back across the line and learn the physics of the higher level. So here we have it. Leading scientists who recognize the limits of their field meet Kabbalah, which tells them that in order to overcome that limit, they need to alter themselves, to change, and only then can they reveal a new world. And that's not easy to hear, not easy to accept, and yet they endured, but it was very hard. I think I'm a giving person. I think I give a lot of myself in what I do. Maybe it's my ego talking. I don't know. But I, I don't share. I think well, we're all egoists. I have no idea what God is, but I feel God presence. So, every once in a while, I see God. So what does that tell you? What do you mean? You know, you don't feel. There's no such thing. What do you mean? If you feel it, you can, you can, can you measure it? What are we talking about? I understand. What are we talking about then? If you can't know God, you can't feel God, you can't see that. We are talking about research, what the Creator is, only in a scientific manner. Meaning, I feel Him, I measure Him, I give measurements and numbers to every sensation, I check the tool with which I feel Him. That's the wisdom of Kabbalah. Of course, I have numbers here, let's say, from 0 to 100 percent, and I know exactly which lights go where, and how powerfully, under which conditions. When I take something off the table, I define it as taking it from the Creator, and what pleasure I give Him by that, and then what kind of connection it creates between us. That was our first experience of talking to leading scientists. Maybe we were unaware of certain things. The mentality is different. But Rav continued to lecture. In Kabbalah, there's no such thing as mentality. In Kabbalah, everyone is absolutely equal. Back at the lecture. How do we learn about the two levels? If we, the ones who really feel from within, the heart, the point in the heart, the desire to go back to spirituality and feel it, we begin to learn about our situation up here. And that's the wisdom of Kabbalah. So we learn about us being here, when in fact we are already in that state, but we don't feel it. But by wanting in our blocked state to awaken and feel the true state, if we learn about our true situation, we draw on ourselves. It's as if we draw the light that's present there. Because I'm in that world, in that state, I just don't, I'm not aware of it. But if I make every effort to become conscious of it, to be awakened, my desire, my impulse to do it opens up my additional vessels and then we begin to feel spirituality. What does that mean? We begin to feel how we are all interconnected as one body and then through each and every one infinite light follows endlessly and without any limitations and all the problems that we feel today in the world is only so as to force humanity to begin to go back up. My guess is that, well, not my guess, that is certainly not believed by the vast majority of the top scientists. No, I don't give a damn about top scientists or the scientific establishment at all. I don't care what they think. Let me finish. He said that that's what they I don't care what they think. All I care about is saying what I have to say, and I will say it the way I have to say it, in whatever way I wish to say it. I don't give a flying damn about what anybody thinks about what I have to say. I've stopped caring about that a long time ago. 
we go. You suck the, what I care you about is money. changing and transforming this planet that we're on. Right. And I believe you have to introduce new thinking. And if it turns out to be scientifically total garbage, I don't give a flying fuck. It makes no difference to me because science has little credibility as the only way of seeing the world. It's only one very narrow, very limited way. And the medical model, as you well know, is full of so much bullshit about what's right and what's wrong and what's the right psychological model and what's the right medical model that we're so filled with stuff that people are looking for alternative ways of healing. And you know that. Clearly, you know your stuff. There's no question. And, and I would learn. I, I would learn. I, I'd love to sit at your feet for a long time. I do. Let's see what you It would be use, very useful. It would help me tremendously. And I have no question about it. We were witnesses of a new reality being born as a second breath. Science saw in Kabbalah a unique opportunity, a chance of a breakthrough. What was it that made such a change? Was it the hours of Rav's lectures, arguments, and doubts? Perhaps it was simply that the time has come. Indeed, Kabbalah it does have a, an awful lot to say. I don't hear anything, I don't see anything, but I feel. What you know is, is really amazing, and I, I, I honor your teaching and your wisdom. So the whole phenomenon of Kabbalah kind of emerging out of its hiddenness and in a genuine form, as opposed to just fluff, I think is uh, very fascinating and very valuable. All possible ways to awaken the people and have them become work on themselves. Uh, I think it's the way to go. Because this is something that means a great deal to me, and because I had a very positive impression of this meeting, I'm certainly happy to help in any way that I can. I certainly can contribute ideas to the film, and I'd be happy to work with you on it, sure. As long as there's life and breath and limb within me, I, I'm willing to travel. Uh, There are these three-dimensional pictures like wallpapers. If you look at them and you defocus your eye, then you go into the picture and you find a three-dimensional picture. When you look at it at the beginning, it looks like just a jagged random pattern. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, you see a, a right. kind of flat mm -hmm. yeah. 3D image emerge. But I so these things. <laughs> So, what the wisdom of Kabbalah actually does is it helps you get that picture. It doesn't do anything new, actually. It just focuses and aims your attributes and everything in you in such a way that you begin to see into matter. Thank you very much.